Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, and you probably are, consider clicking the subscribe button, you know, if you end up liking my content or whatever. Hello, my homies and homets. Uh, this game is called Memoirai, I think. I got it on Itch.io for free. It's created by Goose Stranger. Yeah, let's do this. Talk to Priest. I'd love to. My prayers are out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the left as you leave town. Okay, Mr. Priest, I would love to do that. It's the house to the left as you leave town. Is it this house? I think it must be this house. Enter cabin. We'll just help ourselves and go right in. All right. Well, maybe it's not the right house. I don't know. Look at the bookshelf. There's a picture on the shelf of a wife, a husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Okay. Sure. Well, they're not here. That's one thing we know. So let's exit the cabin. Uh, what about, what about this cabin? Right here. Let's check this one out. Oh, look, there's a midget, a red-headed midget. She'll steal your soul in tiny little bits at a time. Piece by piece, we'll talk to her. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna leave before you eat me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's talk to this other little person. Yeah, she's not redheaded, so she's probably a little more on the safer side. Sometimes Daddy lets us pet the chickens on the head. They're so soft. Yeah, I don't care. I really don't f care. Okay. Alright. Um, hi. Alright, we got a chef here. Maybe he'll make us a tasty meal, but probably not. It's a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Wow, your profession is cooking, not petting animals, so I'm not going to take your advice. Or if I do go, it's on my own terms. Uh, let's talk to this one. Oh, ugh. Another redhead. Oh, dear God. Ugh. <laughs> Need to stay close to Mama. Otherwise, she'll worry that we run off. Yeah, she tends to do that. She's a little irrational. I'm just saying. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of my sight. Yes, and that's why they'll grow up to be serial killers. It's okay, though. It's fine. We'll talk to this one. His name is Boy. I heard there is gold in the cave, but I'm scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. Okay, so I guess we're gonna leave town, I think. Uh, so far, first impression. Pretty interesting little game, actually. I like the music. I wonder if it's original. Uh, read signpost to the farm. Okay. Uh, oh my god. What's with this dude? Why are his arms so long? I don't like this at all. Everybody makes fun of my body's weird proportions. I just did. Please don't tell anyone I'm back here. Okay. Okay, man. Don't worry about it. Won't tell anyone. We'll just go to the farm. Ooh, maybe we can pet a chicken on the head. Because they're soft. Hello, oh poke chicken. <laughs> Adorable, he clucks. Cute. Alright, let's talk to Lumberjack Bill. Is this the cave? Uh, the cave. Okay, well, I don't know if we want to go in the cave yet. Let's wait. Let's go check out 
the farm first. Can we go into the farm? We can! Nice. Well, the barn, excuse me. Oh, the door's locked. Never mind that. I guess we won't be going in. Uh, so I guess we'll go to the cave where the little boy haunts. Oh, pick up lantern. Okay. Picked up lantern on the stump. Can we get the axe? No. Apparently we cannot. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Yeah, I'm already ahead of you, but why can't you go in and look for your brother? Why am I doing it? Uh, alright. Hey you! Look over air! Oh. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. Thanks. What if I just stab him? I don't think I can. Oh no. It's like a maze, and I don't like mazes. Ah, mazes are not amazing. Unfortunately. Alright. Ooh. Spooky, and there's not even any red. You're definitely very talented. If you can make a game scary without adding an overwhelming amount of red. What is this? Look at bones. Someone must have died here. The bones look as if they were a child's. That's not good. What is this? Look into the hole. I can see something shiny. It's just out of reach. Alright, so I think we're going to need something to grab whatever it is that's in there that's shiny. Um, okay, we can do that. No problem. Let's go this way. Yes. I actually don't know which way I'm even going. Like, is this where I came from? Maybe. Maybe I'm just going backwards? I don't actually know. I guess not. Oh no. Someone was here for a lot of days. I'm not going to count all those. Uh, what's this? There's some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings onto the wall. Yeah. Examine pedestal. There's a book on top of this pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. Ham's Peppy Guy. Bob Murphy. How eerie. Okay, it is eerie. It doesn't tell us much, though. Alright, so... Jeez. I have to find... Go the way I did not already go? Which way is that? I'm gonna be lost. Five hours later. Oh! A farmer approaches. Uh-oh. Uh... Yeah, why do you have blood on your overalls? I fell. Okay. Why do you have a knife? I found it. I heard moans. What have you done? I was crying. Okay, we can let them pass, or we can attack. But I think letting them pass would be a, like a bad idea. Why does he have a knife? Let's attack. Ooh, stab. Alright, he dead. Look at body. There's a name on the farmer's overalls. Hams. Okay, that's one of the names on the list. Interesting. Oh, here's the person he probably killed. Erg, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came in here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a gold nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me, then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. 
They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell him the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help? Will you help me end my life? You've done it before. It should be easier the second time. <sighs> we're, give we're given options here. And they're crazy options. Uh, we could go get help, or we could kill her. Let's kill her. Huh. Please, end it quickly. Alright, there you go. You're dead. Sorry. It had to be done. Alright, what do we do now? That's crazy. We killed the farmer too. I don't think we were supposed to do that. I'm thinking he uh, didn't kill her mate. Uh, well, obviously he didn't kill her. Uh, maybe he didn't kill anyone. Maybe he picked up the knife because she stabbed herself? I don't know. I'm very confused. Let's talk to this guy. A farmer approaches. Uh, why do you have blood on your overalls? There's nothing there. What? Oh, he's asking me that! This is like a loop! Alright, what are we gonna put? Um, I fell. Why do you have a knife? Uh, I found it. I heard moans. What have you done? <laughs> I was crying. Let me see what will happen to you. Oh, this is wild. And that is where our story will end, at least for now. It is up to the next player to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. Really? Is this going into, like, a online database where other people choose the options? Okay, this is really confusing. Hold on a minute. What is my name? My name is Raven Crow. All right, thank you for playing. All right, so that was really stupid of me. I did not realize that our answers were going to be in another person's game. I assume the next player who plays the game. Uh, so I just chose what were already there because I thought maybe that's what we were supposed to do. I did not realize that this actually recorded our answers for the next game. So that's pretty wild and interesting. Uh, to even confirm that, I had to go back and find a video of someone else who played the game, and the answers were actually different. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a really interesting concept. I enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more horror games, okay? My mind is kind of blown away by that. Yeah, alright. Peace. <laughs>